first, fast, accurate. With Jennifer Copeland and Rick Schutt, you're watching WSBT 22 News at 6. Moments before a fire killed an 82-year-old Niles woman, she was on the phone with dispatchers asking for help. Now by the time they arrived, it was too late. Mary Ann Brothers died from injuries in that fire. Now, WSBT 22 Suzanne Spencer is learning new details about how it started. Investigators are blaming a wood-burning stove, and while it's still early in the investigation, they believe a mechanical failure in the wood burner itself led to the fire. He was, yes, I think everybody was kind of stunned by this. The aftermath of a fire that claimed the life of 82-year-old Mary Ann Brothers on Bond Street is still fresh for neighbors. A lot of firemen and uh, all the smoke was in the back of the house, so I didn't know if it was the house or the garage. About 7 a.m. on Sunday, the Niles Charter Township Fire Department got a call from dispatchers. Brothers was inside the burning home and calling for help. The 911 dispatcher asked, do you have a fire? She stated yes. She said, what's on fire? And the homeowner said, my house. And that was the last. The phone went dead again. They found brother's body near an interior doorway near the breezeway by the garage. It's unclear, though, why she couldn't get out. It's not unusual to receive a call from a resident saying they have a structure fire. It's, like I said, for 32 years I've been doing this. This is the first time that I've ever been on the scene of a fatal fire where the caller had called the fire in from within the structure and did not make it out. Investigators say the wood burning stove may have started the fire, but the home also didn't have working smoke detectors. In this case, it might have made a difference, given her a little bit more of an opportunity to exit it if she had known earlier that the fire was there. Because from what we can tell, the fire was already extensive at the time, maybe when she made the 911 call. While neighbors just hope there's closure. For the family. I really don't know what to say except that, you know, it's hate to ha hate to see something like that happen, that's for sure. Family told investigators that Brothers was legally blind but was still able to get around her home. Two cats also died in this fire, but fire investigators are reminding you check your smoke detectors and make sure to get those inspections done on all the heating appliances. In the newsroom, Suzanne Spencer, WSBT 22 News.